Hey, welcome back to the channel, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Quality Content Rick's channel. Today, we're going to be discussing uh, the stock market, what I'm buying today, if I got any dividends this week, and uh, I'm going to show you I got another $500 in my account here for the week. So we're going to be going over what I'm going to buy today. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see what I want to buy. So we got 500 bucks here, cash and cash investments. So let's go over. I think I want to buy some O, Realty Income Corporate REIT. That's currently holding 6.75% of my account. Let's click on it here. Let's go into it, see what it's about. So we'll do the one year. Where was it at for it? It had a big, it, had, it was up February last year. Big drop down to $46 in November. Come back up and it's dropping again right now. But I think I'm going to pick some of this up. Let's look at the dividend. Let's go up to a dividend. Annual dividend rate, $3.08 per share. So quarter or monthly, it's $0.26 cents a month. Annual dividend yield is 5.48%. So the current price is one day chart. Well, it's 56.63. So I think I'm going to pick up, let's say I pick up like two. How many do I have? Well, let's pick up two of them for this week and uh, see what that's about. Bye. Buy quantity market. We're doing co dollar cost averaging into the market. I'm just going to pick up two this week. Review it. Okay. Two is going to be $100.13. We're going to place order. Okay. Let's go back up here to accounts. Summary. Uh, positions. See what else we want to buy. I think I want to buy Coca Cola is fifty nine dollars right now. I wanted to buy oh VTI down here, ETS VTI Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. It's currently at two hundred thirty nine dollars and thirty four cents. Let's go down here. Let's look at one year. What does it do one year? Ooh, climbing pretty good. A year ago it was at one hundred ninety five dollars. Now, 237. Let's look at, let's see, low turnover, 3%. That's good. Holdings, distribution and yield. So it, it gives you, gives me, what's well, a little different? 78 cents, one quarter, 82 cents, one quarter, 79 cents, one quarter, and a dollar, the last quarter. Distribution yield, 1.44. So not that high, but it's going to continue. I think I think it's going to go up. I'm not uh, a financial advisor, though, nor am I an attorney or any of that other stuff. But I think long term it's going to go up, so I'm going to buy one for this week. Vanguard, buy one. Market, dollar cost average into it. Buy, place order. Perfect. Go back here. Positions. What else we want to buy? So I got like $176 left for the week. What should I buy for $176? I guess more Coca Cola. I got 69 and a half of those. $59. FLQL. SPHD, I got 25 of those. FLQL, it's only 1.49% of my total holdings here. Um, Vanguard Growth ETF, that's $319. I don't got enough this week for that. I could just buy it and transfer more money over, but I want to stick to the $500 a week. Jeppy, I'm not buying any more Jeppy. I bought 100 shares and Currently, the dividend is already reinvested into it. I have 108 shares. So let's buy FLQL. Let's click on FLQL, Franklin US. What is it? Franklin US Large Cap Manufacturing ETF. Let's scroll down here. 
with a one year chart on it. It's climbing. Year ago is way down here at 39. Now it's 49, 48. Let's see what the does have an expense ratio of 0 0.15. Still a lot cheaper than mutual funds were back in the day. <clears throat> it's holding Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is climbing like a champ right now. If you would have invested your money in NVIDIA January of 2020, right before the cough, you'd have 10 extra money, maybe even 12 extra money. But no one knew what it was going to do back then. So, but here we are now, 1.5% divot distribution yield. So we're going to pick up one of these. See what it's about for long-term growth. Get a little dividend here and there. Maybe I should pick up two. I'm going to pick up two of these. Buy. Buy two of those market day review place order $97 order place perfect let's go to accounts summary balances I got $78 what do I want to get for $78 guys $78 $78 I can get well, I already bought O well, I needed a load. What was how much was the lows? Two hundred twenty dollars. XYLD Global SP five hundred covered call ETF down a little bit. It's forty bucks. SPHD high dividend low volatility forty one dollars. SCHD. Let's go to SCHD. Schwab U.S. dividend, and I like dividends, so let's see what this is about. One year. A little dippy do here, like everything did. October, November. Low expense ratio. Good, good, good. What are they holding? Yeah, all this stuff here. ABGO, ABV, Merck. Oh, excuse me. Let's see the uh, dividend. Oh, look at that dividend, 3.49. Okay, let's pick up one of these. Buy one. Oh, yeah, one limit market review place order. Perfect. All right, let's see. Go to accounts, summary, investment income. Let's see if I made any money uh, yet this month. So Dividends, I have a total of $78.71 that came to me in dividends and it rebought the uh, same thing that I already had. So let's see what that was. What was it? Total income. Let me scroll up here. One second. Let me pause this. Let me make this bigger. Make that bigger while I go through some stuff here. See on here this month so far. I got reinvest so January, beginning of January. I got the uh dividend from Jeppy, reinvested it, fifty-four dollars uh, price was fifty-four dollars, but I only got only had forty-six dollars of dividend, so I bought zero point eight four zero six shares. XYLD Fifteen dollars and fifteen cents of dividends. Rebought that at zero point three eight two one shares. And my O Realty Income Corporate REIT seventeen dollars and thirty six cents this month. And then it rebought here. Reinvested seventeen dollars thirty six cents at zero zero point two nine five four shares. So that's the um, income so far for uh, January. I think that's probably going to be all my income for January. Let's see. What am I going to get for February? I'm going to get $113 in February. $286 in March. I go. I like to go over this every time I make a little video. So if someone new is watching, they can see how much I'm getting. Oh, don't forget. Guys, give me a thumbs up. If you like what we like what we got, uh, hit the subscribe. Oh, it's down in this corner. Hit the subscribe button down here, guys. We sure do appreciate it over here at the channel. 
helps the channel grow. April, $81.92. Um, my mouth is getting dry. May, $113.17. That's pretty good. And these dividends, continue reinvesting them over and over. June, $286.14. July, $81.92. August, $113. September is going to give me $286. Reinvest in it. October, $81.92. Reinvest in it. November, $113.17. And December, $286.14. So I'm just going to continue reinvesting these over and over and over. And maybe one of 55, 56. I could retire early with a lot of extra money. In this account, when I'm if I stay doing five hundred dollars a week until I'm sixty, it'll be like a million, million one maybe. Uh, as long as I don't ever pull any money out. Um, hopefully soon, after my car's paid off, I'll be able to put six hundred dollars a week. Then I got another little thing I'm gonna pay off. Probably take up seven hundred a week. That'll get me at $36,000 a year investing into this. I'm very grateful to have a good job, good paying job that allows me to do that. So we can see here the estimated income. This is what we went over, but it was in a different chart. And you can see which one is going to pay me, how much they're going to pay me per year. And then the ETF, so you can see here. So Jeffy's going to pay me $500 every year and then it's going to get more dividend and that that payment's going to go up and up and up and up every time i get the dividend buy more shares get more dividend get more dividend buy more shares get more dividend real simple as long as you don't ever pull the money out then you'll continue growing cloudy 217 this is a small one vanguard growth etf five dollars and 25 cents a year but i don't I only have three shares i should buy more of that um, but it's growth, right? So it should go up. All right, what else should we talk about today, guys? What else do y'all want to see? Let's go back to summary. Summary of the account. Okay, we don't want to do that. We already did that. Balances. So like I said uh, before, we're not going to do any of this available to day trade. One, because I work, and I'm not able to just sit here and look at it. So, can't be day trading. I'm not very good at figuring that stuff out while I'm doing other things. Margin equity, we're not going to buy on margin. You got to pay interest on that. The longer you hold it, the more money and interest you're going to have to pay. So, you can be losing money when you think you're trying to buy something at a low price. A year later, it goes up, but you've already lost all that money and in interest payments all right i think that's all for the week i think i covered um pretty much everything i needed to cover what i'm buying what uh, dividends i made hopefully one year i'll be a millionaire all right guys uh like i said can you hit the subscribe button right down here we should appreciate it give me the thumbs up guys i'm growing my mustache back out if uh if you couldn't tell it's gonna look it's about 10 days of growth. Um, it's going to look pretty sick here in like a month. Y'all are going to really enjoy it. All right, everybody. Take care.